In this video, I will show you how to control plugins in FL Studio with FL Key. I have an instance of the Citrus Synthesizer loaded into this channel of the channel rack. I can quickly scroll through the presets by pressing the preset up and down buttons. Once I find a sound that I like, I can further edit the sound by using the POTS plugin mode. In plugin mode, you can use the POTS in your FL key to control up to eight parameters on the plugin. When pickup takeover mode inside the FL Studio's MIDI settings is enabled, the pot needs to reach the original value before the changes are applied to the parameter connected to the current pot. Making custom mappings for your plugins is easy. For example, let's use the pot's custom mode to take control over the coarse pitch of oscillator one in this instance of 3x oscillator. Make sure you are in the pot's custom mode by holding shift and selecting custom. Right click the parameter you want to control and select Link to Controller. Simply twist the pot that you want to use to control this parameter. In instrument pad mode, FL key gives you specific control of FPC, Slice X, and Fruity Slicer. In instrument mode, when you add the FPC plugin to a channel rack channel, you can control the FPC drum pads from your FL key. The left and right page buttons will allow us to switch between FPC's bank A and bank B. In instrument mode, when you add the SliceX plugin to a channel rack channel, you can play back slices using the pads on your FL key. You can press the page left or page right buttons to bank to the next 16 slices. Instrument mode also works with Fruity Slicer. You can play back slices using the FL keys pads and use the page left and right buttons to get to the next 16 slices. Round, 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 round. Uh, 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 uh. Instrument mode also allows generic control of other instruments and third-party plugins. The pads will be mapped chromatically and will also work in scale mode. Now that I've explained how to control plugins with FL Key and FL Studio, Feel free to explore the rest of FL Key's Easy Start videos for more. 